Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you in Yahoo Maps Part 2, Markers, how to set a marker on the map from the XML data, which we brought in from our rate collection last time. But first of all, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Let's go to the Application tag and scroll over here a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of this view source, since I'm not using that in this application. Okay. Now, once again, if you have problems grabbing uh, a tag or a portion of flex, it's a little bit squirrely, it does move over sometimes, just click on it, hit shift click, and then we can get rid of that, let's cut that. And let's go down a little bit, and I want to center all of this, so I want my layout to be vertical. Cool. And that's going to be enclosed in a canvas, so all my MXML will be enclosed in a canvas uh, tag then my map UI component will be enclosed in a canvas tag as well. So it's really just two canvas tags. Uh, so let's start that. And close that. It's my closing tag. Let's use my uh, Alt down key. There you go. Let's go to design view and make sure that's uh, spread out enough. And you can see it's really tiny. So let's go over here to our height and width on our flex property side and just type in a width of uh, 600 and a height of 600. And hit enter. And now let's go back. Cool. And I'm going to fit the screen so we can see it all. And now I want to actually put that in the canvas that will all be centered. So there we go, another canvas inside a canvas. And uh, and highlight that and use that Alt Down key as well. So let me review what I've done. I put a, the UI map component inside a canvas, which is 600 by 600. And I've sized it 100% by 100% width and height, which fills out the 600 by 600 canvas. And I've actually centered that inside another canvas, which is centered by the um, layout control. So let's go to Design View and make sure everything looks centered. And it does, pretty much. Let's move this over just a little bit. Go back to Source View, and, and uh, sometimes these components can be a little bit squirrely. When you move them around, they can pop out or not. So I have a tendency to go back between Design View and Source View to make sure everything's OK. It looks good. Let's run this and make sure everything is fine. And so now I have that map view. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use uh, size or size this again. And you can see now my map is in the center of the screen. It's not taking up the full screen, which gives me the ability to put navigation uh, controls on the side here, which we'll be doing uh, later on in the presentations. So let's move on now and add in the uh, marker code that we need to set the markers wherever we want to. Now in looking at the map, we can see we're not in the right place, and we're too far zoomed out. So now that the cosmetics are done, let's go down and do a little bit of coding. You need to go down here and scroll down to a function called handle map initialize. And to bring the zoom level in, just let's type in a 3. Now how do I know what zoom level is what? It's just trial and error. So just try different map values and whatever looks good for you. That's great. And we'll be creating a zoom function later on. And the here's the uh, longitude and latitude. Well this is not covered in Kentucky, of course. So where do I get those coordinates from? Well, they're in my XML. So let's bring up the XML. Let's open up the XML document with a text editor. And right here are my longitude and latitude. Now, I could grab these numbers, and I could hard code them in. But what I want to do is just bring them in through the array collection. I know that the first data element is Covington, Kentucky. That first data element is the zero data element. So that's the way arrays go in flex, is they start with the number 0. That's the first element, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So, and the tags are my launch and my lad. Now I'll go ahead and grab the first tag. Let me show you how to do this. So what I want to do is actually bring in the array collection, the zeroth element. And that array collection is called AC Videos. Let's type in AC Videos. And I'm going to put a little bracket here because I want the zeroth element. And all I have to do now to grab it from the XML is hit dot syntax 
And what was the name of that uh, XML element? My launch. Isn't that cool? And the next one's pretty much the same. Let's copy and paste this. Once again, I want the zeroth element of the array collection, but in this case, it's my lat. And now let's test that and see if that brings us to Covington, Kentucky. Save and run. And you can see we are now indeed zoomed in and we're at Covington, Kentucky. Pretty cool. Let's start setting these markers to where they need to go. So we are in the function handle map initialize and we're going to modify the random marker code to actually send this to specific markers on the map. And we're going to go down to this uh, for loop. And what we want to do is we want to loop through not a randomized marker set but through a specific marker set. So we're going to, and specifically the array collection. So let's go ahead and type in AC videos. And there's a property of the array collection called length. So we'll hit dot length. And that will s go through the entire length of the array collection. Now, we don't want the first coordinate of the array collection because we're already using that in the map central lat lon function, which takes us to where the map is centered. So we're going to start with the next coordinate and put that marker on the map. Now, once again, in our lat lon, we're not going to use um, hard code, but we're going to bring this, these numbers directly in from the array collection. So I can just, I'm going to grab this real quick. Copy this as we did before. And paste it. And the lat I'll copy as well and paste it. So there goes all my random stuff. That's good. And what I want to do here is not increment through 0 but through i. And so it basically is going to tab down through the uh, XML. Let's bring up the XML real quick. And it's going to tab down through the XML and grab each one of these launch and latitude numbers and put those on the map. And so let's go ahead and test this and see what happens. And now we see that we are actually getting markers in the different areas where they're supposed to go from the XML data. Isn't that pretty cool? And it's extremely simple. Once we set up that array collection, we're able to pull in all types of data, not just marker positions, but audio and video and images as well. And we'll do that in the next presentation. Now there's just one more piece of housekeeping I need to do. Let's go down to our function. And I'm just going to get rid of these uh, previous markers that came from the previous application, which set the random marker. So I don't need that anymore. And that's pretty much all I need to do. I had some arrows there. Let me save that. Those arrows go away. And let me go ahead and run this uh, application, make sure it works again. Pretty cool, and my markers are being set. So what I'm going to do now is go back. I'm going to go to this uh, navigation. I'm going to copy this folder right here. And then I'm going to zip it. I'm going to put it on Google Code for you guys. Okay, so Just go to my Google Code and grab it, and you'll be in good shape to follow along.